Hello, this is Grandpa Dan. I'm here with Flat Chloe in the woods. And we've been on an adventure together, haven't we, Flat Chloe? That's right. Flat Chloe is shy in front of the camera. I can tell you that she is not shy when she's not on camera. Flat Chloe has lots to say then. Can I read this now? Okay, here we go. Dear Grandpa Jan Dan, I've noticed that you always have a candle burning in our little house. Why is that? I don't remember you having a candle burning in our big house where we live with Grandma Jill. You are very observant, young lady. Yes, I do have a candle burning here. And you are right. I keep it burning all the time that we are here. Well, not at night, because we can't tend to it then. Do you have any ideas why we keep this candle burning? Well, yes, I guess it does help to keep us warm. But I keep this burning for another reason. Let me give you a clue and see if you can guess, okay? Here's the clue. The candle helps me to remember something. It's something we don't see very much. <laughs> That's a very good guess, Flat Chloe. The owl. I wasn't thinking of that, but I like your answer. In fact, now when I see this candle, I will think of two things. I will think of the owl, and I will think of God. Just like our owl, God can be hard for me to find. I get busy, and there's lots of noise. But here it's quiet, and... What? Oh, okay. You're right. Those geese are loud. But it's still quiet. I think we should call it a noisy silence. Do you notice that I spend a lot of time just sitting and watching out the window? Yes, you're right. A lot of time. Do you know what I'm doing? <laughs> you're right. I'm not doing much. Actually, though, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be quiet. Quiet is different than just no noise. Quiet with my ears and my hands and my legs, but especially with my head. I worry sometimes, and being quiet helps me to hear God. Do you remember when we pray? Of course you do. Well, I think praying is more than just talking to God. I'm being quiet so that I can hear God talking to me. Just like I'm quiet so that I can hear you when you have something to say. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's hard for you to be quiet, but it's hard for me too. I believe that God wants to talk with us, but at least for me, I'm not very good at listening. And here's where this candle helps me to listen. You're a pretty good speller, aren't you? Okay. Can you spell the word listen? Very good. L-I-S-T-E-N. Now, can you spell the word silent? Very good. I didn't know you could spell that, too. Silent, S-I-L-E-N-T. Did you notice that the same letters that spell silent also use, are used to spell listen? They're just in a different order. And listening or being silent helped me to hear God. Did you know, Flat Chloe, that I heard God through you yesterday? Well, don't be so surprised. I did. Remember when you picked up that screw on the way home as we were out walking on the road? You said that we should bring it home, right? And why was that? You didn't want somebody to run over it with a car tire and get a flat tire. I was really proud of you. 
you are showing love for other people, for somebody you would never ever meet or know at all. Good work. I'm proud of you. Did you know that I heard God when you did that? I did. I heard God reminding me that it's really important to care and to love for people. Maybe even people we will never see or meet. God calls that loving our neighbors. Thank you for that, Flat Chloe. Let's be let's listen and be silent. Who knows? Maybe we'll hear something more. <laughs>